Hello and welcome back to my shop. Uh, today I'm looking at a generator that I got for free on the side of the road. It's a Honda EM400. You can see it now in a shot. Uh, mostly taken apart. Um, all the covers are off, fuel tanks off. Uh, it initially had an issue with spark. Uh, the bigger issue was that when I try to start it to even test anything, uh, most of the time the recoil starter would not engage so it was a bit of a pain in the arm to try and work on it so I decided uh, to go ahead and fix that before I go back and look at the spark issue which uh, it looked like it was probably an easy issue to fix um, this is from the late 70s it's a little hard to get parts for it but I'm hoping that I can get it to work without having to replace much other than maybe the spark plug and the air filter uh, disintegrated the foam and oil impregnated one is is just garbage so uh, now how do we get to the recoil starter well we'll go check out here this is the engine side of the generator um, and you're looking at the flywheel uh, slash cooling fan on that side uh, and you take off the covers take off the 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 air uh, air shroud and then there's a bolt in the center that you go ahead and remove and that is attached to the crankshaft if I can remember where that bolt is I would show it to you but apparently I well just trust me there in the center here inside of here is the actual shaft and it's threaded inside and then the flywheel uh, and this part here is actually rubber and this this ring right here is some sort of steel and this is part of the recoil starter right here um, and this inside of here is also threaded so we've got two threaded points so we take out the center bolt oh it's right here I believe this is the one that would go in here comes out of the uh, crankshaft get that out of the way and now we take a 14 millimeter oil drain plug this is 14 by one and a half I believe we should be able to basically we're just gonna tighten this down until the flywheel pops off this is just a tapered shaft that's pressed onto there so hopefully I can do this by hand yeah okay that was that was a lot easier than I was expecting didn't have to get out the uh, impact gun or anything so one thing to note when you do put it back together you need to make sure these are uh, actually up and riding on this uh, this inner part in a race here I'm not sure what you call that but need these poles to actually go all the way on there otherwise it's not actually gonna fit if you take a look here these will these will flop around so anyway that's that's pretty simple um, initially I thought it was gonna be really difficult because in inside here you see threads going in and all you see is the crankshaft but uh, really the threads disappear and it's just a uh, uh, belled or chamfered uh, uh, something I can't remember <laughs> I think you get the point anyway so it doesn't look like there's any sort of uh, key or anything on here um, yeah, so once you got that off, then the recoil starter, if it's not, uh, you have to remove the uh, cord first, and then there's these three screws that I've already removed, and then that should just come off after removing this large circlip in here. So I'm going to get to that and figure out why this recoil starter keeps jamming up. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> 